everybody welcome back uh, this video is going to be a combination of the things that I found at the Goodwill for the months of June and July so let me start off with the clothing and uh, first off I have this um, shirt by Alfred Dunner it's um, just a turquoise floral print shirt and uh, some of these things are from June that's why they don't have the tags on anymore um, but all of most everything you're gonna see here was um, a dollar seventy-five. Uh, next, from a uh, Spiegel, I found this two-piece seersucker suit. It's uh, the jacket and the pants. Really cute. Uh, really great summer uh, suit, and um, the color is very neutral. And this was marked six ninety-nine, so I paid three fifty for both pieces. Next I found a very uh, basic classic little black dress by Ann Taylor. It has a little bow detail here at the waist and the top part is velvet. And this was also $1.75. I marked off from $3.50. Another dress, this one is by Carol Little. It's a tunic dress and uh, very uh, neutral uh, like jungle print pattern and it's just very loose and very flowy now this dress this next dress I think is vintage uh, I'm not sure the brand is Wendy one it doesn't have a size it just says slot 11 through 12 I'm, I don't know if that's the size or not but it doesn't that's why I think it's vintage I think because it, the, the cut is actually smaller but I have serious serious love for this dress like I am keeping this one for myself it's um, sheer and very flowy it's kind of like a faux wrap dress really cute and I, I really really love this dress let me show you the back of it And it does remind me of something like from the 80s or so. But um, I'm, I don't know for sure if it's vintage or not, but it's just, it's such a pretty dress. And that was $1.75 as well. And then I found this dress by Betsy Johnson. It's brown with the uh, cream polka dots. And it's pretty long. And it's really cute as well. And the size just says uh, P for petite, so I'm not sure what size that is, but it doesn't have a letter or um, any other sizing mark anywhere on it, so, but it's really cute. That was also $1.75, and uh, then I found these uh, pants by Morona. These were brand new, but I already took off the tag. And they're kind of like a velvet, um, not velvet, denim type of material. But they're dress pants. And um, these I paid full full price, um, which was I think about $7. Which is not bad for a brand new pair of pants. Uh, next from Talbot's I found this, uh, it's another seersucker piece, it's just a dress pink with a little ribbon sash for the waist which is so cool to actually most of the times when you go to the goodwill you find um, that the belts are missing and so on both dresses that I found today that had both of them had the little sashes still with, with them so that was pretty cool very cute summer dress then I found this dress by uh, and Taylor Loft. Sister basic uh, wrap dress. Really nice for work. And I found a white top from uh, White House Black Market. Uh, again, a dollar seventy-five, as was the previous dress. 
It has this ribbon here below the, the chest. And my last piece of clothing is this top by Isod. And it's just a really cute cotton top. Just uh, really cute for running errands and just going around town. And so that's it for the clothing and I'll show you the miscellaneous items next. Okay, for the miscellaneous items this week, I found two pairs of shoes that are exactly the same, just a different color. And um, they're both by Ann Klein. And it's just the same style, it's just in a different color. And I think these came out to like $3.50 a pair. <clears throat> I found this little, um, it's kind of like a doily. And I got this um, just to keep around like as a sample. And I think this was a dollar. Yeah, it was marked a dollar so I paid 50 cents for it. And I forgot to put this in the clothing section. But basically these are just some pajama pants by uh, Old Navy. And then I bought this pink uh, t-shirt just to have a uh, pajama set right there. <clears throat> then I found this uh, box, it's called the Little Box of Knitted Gifts and it has a bunch of uh, cards with um, instructions on how to make all of these items right here. And uh, I paid $1.50 for that. Then I found these on VHS. These are episodes from the X-Files. And I found two of them and uh, they were marked $3.99 so I paid $2 for each. Next I found this pouch by uh, Nintendo for the Nintendo Game Boy Color. And uh, it's in really good condition. got pockets for the cables and everything and the strap and it's it's pretty cool and this was um, I think it was marked $1.99 so I paid like a dollar for it I also found this plug-and-play game it's um world poker tour and uh, it was marked $1.99, so I paid a dollar for it. I don't know if it works yet. It doesn't have any batteries, so we'll see. Then lastly, I found a bunch of yarn. Just, I don't even have all of it anymore because I sold uh, most of it. Well, I, I already sold some of it. But... Uh, each one of these was 50 cents. They were marked down from 99 cents. And we just have all different kinds of the fuzzy yarns and these with the little flags. And it's really cool. And these are pretty expensive. Like this one alone, just this one alone retails for 9.95. And this one regular price would have been six dollars and seventy cents just for this one and this one is the most expensive this one by itself uh, retailed for thirteen dollars and forty cents so that's it for my June and July Goodwill uh, finds I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you soon